Hey again. Following directions can be tough. Sometimes I feel like just ignoring the directions and doing my own thing. Oh, do not open. I have to know what's inside. Back in the Bible days, a king named David received some difficult directions from God. You can read about this story in the book of 2 Samuel in the Bible. David was the king of the land of Israel. Since he was king, everyone basically had to listen to him. He was the one who gave the directions and made all the decisions. It's good to be the king. And David had been a great king. He had built a beautiful palace, chased away most of the enemies of Israel, and best of all, chose to follow and obey God no matter what. Hey. <laughs> then David realized that he was living in a big, beautiful house, but they didn't have a beautiful place to worship God in. They still went to a tent called the Tabernacle to learn about God. Um, hello? What do I do with these? The tabernacle was really big and nice, but David knew he could make something better. A beautiful temple, all for God. David called up a prophet named Nathan to tell him about this awesome plan. David was probably like, and there'll be some giant gold stuff over here and some bowls and, and some angels. Gotta love that. <laughs> That night though, God told Nathan that David wasn't supposed to build the temple. The next day, David got the tough news. And it'll be made of the nicest cedar wood and... What? I can't build it? But I'm the king! Ugh. How would you feel? You've got this huge, awesome idea, but you're told, no, you can't do that. David could have been mad at God. He could have said, I'll build it anyway. David went right into the tabernacle tent and talked to God. Here's what David said. Lord and King, you are God. Your promise can be trusted. David trusted God, even when God's directions were to wait. That must have been hard. David showed us that we can trust God and his directions no matter what. For David, that meant giving all his plans for the temple to his son, Solomon. God chose Solomon to make David's plan a reality. <clears throat> Give these plans to Solomon. But that's not quite the end of the story. Because David trusted God, God made him an amazing promise. God said David's family would be kings of Israel forever. In fact, God's son, Jesus, would be David's great, 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 grandson. What an awesome promise. God told David no to one thing, but promised him something even greater. That's what I want you to remember this week. We can believe God's directions are good. When God says not to do something, we can trust him. When God says to be honest, kind, fair, and respectful, we can trust and believe that those are all the best ways to live. When we last saw the source team, Gabby wasn't sure if she wanted to follow God's directions. Let's find out how they're doing now. Are you sure it was that picture? Yes. But we threw it out. Yeah, but it was still in the trash. And she probably thinks one of us drew it. I told you we should have told her. It's just one picture. She can't be that upset. All it takes is one picture to hurt someone's feelings. Wait, can you hurt a teacher's feelings? She's a human being, Bowie. Of course we can hurt her feelings. Oh, no. So, what do we do? I don't know. Come up with a plan. Did you say a plan? I got the perfect plan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Operation Make Her Day. This is Cheery Chuck. I'll be coming with balloons. Ooh, I love balloons. No, we should not do that. Balloons do not fix this. <laughs> okay. Then I'll come 
as Baker Bob. We can bake cupcakes for Miss Maine. I love cupcakes. No. We tell her what happened and that we appreciate her. Uh, I don't know. That's not really my thing. Plus, I don't even know how to talk to a teacher. You talk to Miss Maine all the time. But that's like student-teacher talk. This is different. This is like real life with feelings and stuff. Well, I have a feeling that Miss Maine doesn't think she's good at teaching. Trust me, we need to encourage her. But how do you know that that's the right plan? I have the same feeling again. And I didn't listen to it the first time and look what happened. Or you could talk to Miss Maine and we'll show up later with the balloons. I don't want to do it alone. Come on, you always know the perfect thing to say. I'll be fine. Yep. Yeah, that's a great plan. Trust that feeling. You got this. Ugh. Ugh. God, I know I didn't listen to you the first time, but I'll listen this time. If there's something you want me to say to Miss Maine, please give me the right words to say. Amen. Not a single A. Maybe I should get an F for teaching. Hi, Gabby. You wanna come in? Uh, uh yeah. Sorry. Something wrong? Uh, no, yeah, um. I know you saw the picture. Ah, that. Do you know who drew it? No, Jesse found it in your classroom. But I think you're the best teacher ever. Well, I'm glad you think so. Why? Because I am getting book reports like this. The Great Gatsby is a great book about a great guy. Gatsby was so great that we're reading his book a hundred years later. I personally think it's great. It's not a bad start. Yeah, except that's all there is in this book report was supposed to be two pages. So. Oh. Yikes. But, but that's not on you. I've learned so much from you. Even though I miss me. You're not mean, Miss Maine. Come on. You're not mean, Miss Mean. I mean, you're super mean. I mean, well, let me start over. I, I think you're- Bully, Bully, I know what you're trying to say. And thank you. <laughs> please don't quit, Miss Mean, please. I, I'm not going to quit. Bowie, please stand up. Okay, thank you, because that really hurt. I'm... But I thought you were going to. You heard that. Well, um, that picture just hurt my feelings. Um, I wrote you something. Dear Miss May, before you came to school, I didn't take my classes seriously. I thought being an athlete was all I needed to do, but you took the time to help me discover other talents. You helped me find my voice and make me salient. That means exceptional. You made me better, Miss May. You can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. And you know, I think you helped me realize something. I need to give these students a little more time on their assignments. Even teachers need a little encouragement sometimes. You're special students. Thank you for taking the time to make me feel better. You're welcome, You're welcome Miss May. <laughs> Oh, and uh, we got you balloons. Thank you, Bowie. I love balloons. Now, I have some papers to hand back, so I'll see you in fourth period. Wow, we really made her day. I think so. We are the best. <laughs> and um, thanks for listening to that God stuff. I think you were right. Come on, Bowie. We can't be late to Miss Maine's class. <laughs> hey. Thanks for listening to God's directions. You have more courage than I do. Hey.
And thank you, God, for showing me what I needed to do.